Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with another Mismatch Monday. I know you might have missed it last week, and the reason you missed it is because I didn't do it last week. So uh, we're back with Mismatch Monday, and we are going to uh, today do that with the Stratomatic Baseball PC game, and we are going to pull a game from 1963. This is going to be the 1963 Chicago White Sox, my White Sox, who were 94 and 68 and second the second place team in the American League. Yes, there was one that was better and that was the New York Yankees. And they're going to take on the Washington Senators and the Senators were a dismal 56 and 106. We are going to not use the DH because this is 1963 and there was no DH in the American League at that time, so we will not use the DH. So uh, this is how the lineups are going to be. My White Sox are going to uh, go with, I think it's Mike Hershberger in center field, followed by Nelly Fox at second, Pete Ward is going to play third base and bat third. Um, Robinson will be in right field. McGraw will be in, at first base, batting fifth. Dave Nicholson will be in left field, and he's batting sixth. Ron Hansen will be the shortstop, batting seventh. J.C. Martin will be the catcher and batting eighth. And we will have, I think it's Jim Buzzhart pitching uh, and batting ninth. For the Washington Senators, they will have Don Blassingame leading off and playing second base. King will play right field, bat second. Chuck Hinton will play left field and bat third. Osborne will bit, bat in the cleanup spot and play first base. Don Locke is in center field for them. Don Zimmer, former great manager. All right, maybe I'm... It's getting a little crazy there, but he'll play third base and bat sixth. Uh, Retzer will be the catcher, batting seventh. Ed Brinkman, the Ed Brinkman, will be the shortstop, batting eighth. And I guess Tom Chaney, is that his name, is going to be the pitcher. We'll find out a lot of these first names that I didn't know when we get going. Um, now we are in Nationals Park, as you can see, because I do not have D.C. Stadium, which is where the Senators actually played in 1963. So you got Hirschberger going up against Tom Chaney. Or to is it Tom Chaney? Is, uh, yes, Tom Chaney. So um, we will... Um, oh, yeah, let me move myself because I can't activate anything. If I don't do that. So, uh, Cheney deals to Hirschberger, and Hirschberger is out. Oh, no, he isn't. No. But is he now? No, he walked. Hirschberger is walking, and he has an 85% chance of stealing. So, let me see if I can do that. Uh, let's, let's take a shot at stealing the base. And no. It drops to 20%. I am not going to try it at 20%. We'll just let Nellie Fox hit. Or try to hit. And he is going to fly out to Hinton, it looks like. And that brings up Pete Ward. Pete Ward. Guy with some power, but he was terrible in the field. And he is going to fly out. And that will bring up Floyd Robinson. I didn't think it was I didn't say Frank Robinson cuz I didn't think Frank Robinson ever played for the White Sox. So, um, I just waited on that one. And we're out of the first inning. So, John Buzzhart, and it's not Jim Buzzhart. Did I say Jim Buzzhart? I don't know. But anyway, John Buzzhart will be pitching for us and he will deal to Don Blassen game. And that is going to be a possible base hit, and it is. It gets a seeing-eye base hit there, and Jim King is the batter with a man aboard. We're not going to watch him because he's only 50% to begin with. 
And that is going to be a pop out to Fox. So there's one down. And uh, Chuck Hinton is the batter. I didn't know Chuck Hinton because I am familiar with him. And he is going to maybe hit this ball over Hershberger's head. Let's see. He does for a double. There's runners at second and third with one down. And Bobo Osborne is the batter. That's going to be a possible... Yeah, he's... Gr and nobody scored. That's even better. So Don Locke is now up. Don Locke with runners at second and third. Washington trying to score a run, and they do on a Don Locke single. And um, I am going to throw for the lead runner because I don't want to lose this game. But I, but we did not get him, and so it's two runs score for him and Don Zimmer. That is a young-looking, doesn't look anything like the Don Zimmer I know, Don Zimmer. So anyway, he's out, but Washington scores too, so we got to get on the ball here against Tom Chaney. Um and that'll uh, Tom McGraw will be the first guy to try to do that. But he's out. And Dave Nicholson is the batter. His photo with the Orioles. He lines one between short and third, so he's aboard. And Don Ron Hansen is the batter with a man aboard, and he lines one between. And I am going to hold the runners. I'm not going to take a chance on that. J.C. Martin is the batter. Retzer calls for the sign. And that is going to be a fly out to lock, it looks like. And it is. Can of corn. And that brings up our pitcher, John Buzzhart. So that's probably going to be the end of the inning there. But maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, he is out. So, Buzzhart is back out to the mound after having made the last out of the second inning for us. We go to the bottom of the second. We're losing 2 nothing. Ken Retzer is batting against Buzzhart. 1963 matchup here. This is one of the uh, uh, sets that I bought, one of the uh, you know rosters for the computer that I bought um, on their, um, on uh, Strat's, um, what was it, Veterans Day um, sale. They had a sale a little while ago, and this was one of the uh, rosters that I bought. Um, so, Hirschberger is up against Cheney. Here we are in the third inning, losing 2 nothing, trying to get back into things here. And is that a base hit? Nope. That's going to be an out by the shortstop. Nellie Fox is up. So he lined out to short. And Nellie Fox looks like he's going to pop out to Ed Brinkman. Ed Brinkman was a good shortstop. I liked Ed Brinkman. He was a scrappy guy. And Pete Ward is going to be the batter. And it's hard to believe this team won 94 games. Because they're really looking at the lineup, it doesn't look all that in intimidating to me. So Buzz Hart back out to the mound. He is losing to nothing. He's got to hold the Washington Senators right where they are. There's one down, and Jim King is the batter with nobody on. And he's going to line one down the line. That's got to be a base hit. Nah, Nicholson ain't going to get that. So uh, he is on second with. Uh, Chuck Hinton up, and Chuck Hinton is going to fly out to Hirschberger for the second out of the inning, and Bobo Osborne is the batter. And he is going to strike out looking. <coughs> so we've got to get uh, at least two runs to tie this thing up at some point, and then eventually... Uh, pull ahead to win, <laughs> you would you would think. Floyd Robinson gets a base hit, and now Tom McGraw is the batter. And Tom McGraw is going to pop out to Osborne for the first out of the inning. Here in the fourth, Dave Nicholson, he had a base hit between uh, third and short last time, but he's out this time, and Ron Hansen is up. Same thing with him, he had a 
Lined a base hit between uh, short and third. Here, it looks like he's going to be out. And he is. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Washington is maintaining a 2-0 uh, lead. I mean, we can't get anything going against uh, uh, against their, their pitcher. I forget his name already. There's one down, and Zimmer is down, so that's two out. And Retzer is the batter. Ken Retzer. And he's out. Yeah, Tom Chaney. We can't get anything going against Chaney. So anyway, J.C. Martin is going to try to lead us out here in the fifth inning. It is starting to get a little bit late to be down 2 nothing. That's going to be an out. And Buzzhart is the batter. And he's going to strike out. And that brings up Hirschberger. And Hirschberger strikes out. So, we are not doing anything here. And Buzzhart is going to face Brinkman. Down to nothing here. Down to nothing. I don't want my White Sox, any White Sox, to be one of the... Um, one of the favored teams in this mismatch Monday uh, matchup to be the losers. So let's hope that we can come back. There is two down quickly here, though, for Washington, but Blassen game lines one between second and first. He's aboard with Jim King up. This isn't going to be a big scoring team, so you know that there's a chance as long as we can get two runs. But Tom Chaney is having none of it. Nellie Fox will be the leadoff batter. Not even, I mean, you look at that card, it's not really that great. you got to hit the one column. And he is out. Pete Ward is up. And Pete Ward is going to pop out to um, Bobo Osborne. And Floyd Robinson is the batter. He's one for two today. And he is out. So we go back to the field, still losing 2 nothing. Washington has two runs on five hits with no errors, and we have no runs on three hits and no errors. That is a fly out to Nicholson, and there's one down with Bobo Osborne, who's been busy in the field today, and he is going to get an infield hit. So Osborne is aboard with Don Lockup. Don Locke, one for two today with two RBIs. He has both RBIs for Washington. And um, Don Zimmer is the batter with two down and Osborne at first. And he is going to be out. So we go back to uh, on the offensive, but we are here batting in the top of the seventh. Chaney is not showing any signs of tiring, although there's a base hit right there. And Dave Nicholson, who is one for two on the day, is up. And uh, they tried to get uh, McGraw picked off. There is a, is that going to be a double? No, no, no. Um, it is a deep fly ball, though, that advances McGraw to second base. Ron Hansen's up with one down. He is one for two today. And he is going to be out. Is he? Yeah. And J.C. Martin is the batter with two down here in the seventh. And he is out. So the next, the next batter for us, next inning, is going to be um, Buzzhart. So I will pinch hit for him. Which means he can pitch in the seventh, and it doesn't look like he's tiring at all. That's going to be a flyout, it looks like, for Retzer, and it is. Brinkman is the batter, Ed Brinkman, the shortstop for Washington. And he is going to be on base. It just it was just over Hanson's head. 
And let's see what happens with Cheney. He's going to try to bunt, and it's a strikeout. And so there's two down, and Blassen game up, and uh, I don't... Uh, I don't blame them for keeping Cheney in the game and trying to bunt with him. So here is Buzz Hart. We are going to pinch hit for him. Uh, Cheney is a righty. He's a, a reverse righty. So he's a righty that's better against lefties. I don't even know who to... Um, let's see... I'm going to pinch hit Landis. So Jim Landis is pinch hitting for the pitcher Buzzhart. And it looks like he's out. He's out. So Hershberger is up with one down. And he looks like he's going to fly out to right. I mean, I can't believe this. Cheney is pitching like, like Cy Young here. Nellie Fox is up. And Nellie Fox, maybe he gets on? No. He's out. He's out, and it's really getting late now. Now i got to bring in another pitcher. Um, I guess we will bring in Hoyt Wilhelm pitch White Wilhelm dealing to Jim King I mean I'm getting serious we got to win this game <laughs> strikeout so there's one down Chuck Hinton is up Washington here with a 2-0 lead 1963 Washington Senators hosting the 1963 Chicago White Sox Osborne is out. That's two down. Or no, that's three down. That's it. So we're back up at the plate, but this is the ninth inning. We got to have two runs, and they're sending Tom Chaney back out there. Pete Ward is the batter. And that is going to be a fly out to Hinton, it looks like. And it is. Floyd Robinson is up. And he's going to lace a base hit. So that's nice. we got to get something going here. Tom McCraw is the batter. And he's going to bounce out. And so now uh, the fielder's choice on that. There's a runner at first, two down, and Dave Nicholson is the batter. And he is going to pop out, and we're going to lose this game to the Washington Senators. So we were a much better team, but let's go take a look at the box score here. Buzzhard goes seven. He gives up seven hits, doesn't walk anybody, and gives up two runs. I mean, you can't really blame him for this loss. You can, however, blame our offense because um, we, only got, uh, we only got five hits off of Cheney. He went nine, he gave up five hits, no runs, only walked one, and struck out four. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.